This is the weather forecast video for Thursday, May the 12th, 2011. Let's take a look at the satellite image from last evening. You can see a large storm system over the plain states and into the deep south, creating showers and thunderstorms across the plains and into the Mississippi Valley. This will continue today. Here's the watch morning map. From around 1 a.m. this morning, you can see fairly quiet across the country outside of some winter weather issues over Colorado. Otherwise, the nation is quiet in the morning hours. Here's the severe weather outlook for today. They have trimmed back the slight risk that was going to be from the entire state it has now been shifted to just the southwestern quarter of the state. This will likely be for large hail and damaging winds. The tornado threat will be further to the south. And let's take a look at the surface base cape at 7 p.m. tomorrow tonight. You can see that surface base capes will likely be in the 1500 to 2000 joules per kilogram. On this model, this, the last one was the NAM. This is the GFS. Shows the same, 1500 to about 2500 joules per kilogram. So there will be enough cape. There will be little, if any, cap. So let's take a look now at the at the precipitation over the next five days. The QPF chart through Monday evening at seven o'clock. You can see two inches of rain possible over quite a bit of the state. This takes into account some of the rain and thunderstorms that occurred after 7 p.m. last night. Let's take a look at the Zero Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. today. You can see a upper level feature west of the state, the southwesterly flow aloft, down at the surface, low pressure over southeastern Nebraska. Most of the severe weather will likely take place on the east side and south of the low into Missouri and Arkansas. Heading into Friday, that low moves into western Illinois. will be on the north side, so it'll be cool, cloudy with a chance of showers and an isolated thunderstorm. Temperatures will drop into the upper 60s. Saturday, low moves to about Louisville, Kentucky. Still a chance of showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, but the chances will begin to lessen. Temperatures will likely be in the 60s to near 70. Sunday, the low has now moved up to near Pittsburgh. There's still a trough hanging back, so chance of showers and maybe a thunderstorm on Sunday as well with 60s. Monday finally clears out sunny. Temperatures bump back to the upper 60s to mid 70s across the state with clear sunny skies. Tuesday, we're still under the influence of a high pressure that's to the northeast of the state. There'll be a southerly return flow, so some rain will break out over the plain, the high plains late on Tuesday. Wednesday, that storm system begins to organize west of the state. Could be some, maybe some late day showers on Wednesday across the western part of the state. Otherwise, the rest of the state will remain sunny and quiet. A week from today, that storm, the low pressure over eastern Colorado, looks to be a setup of possibly some severe weather out there. Some showers over the western half of the state. We head off into Voodoo Country. This is May the 22nd. A Fort Max over just west of Sioux City with a trough over the western high plains and a ridge over the southeast and part of the country down at the surface. Low pressure over southern Iowa, northern Missouri. That can bring some showers and possibly some thunderstorms over the state at that time. And at the end of the forecast period on May the 27th, you can see a trough over the northeast, a ridge over the the west and a trough over the Pacific Northwest at the surface. Some stormy weather to the east and some cool conditions over the state. But in Voodoo Country, things can change with every single run. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one tomorrow.